Hey y'all, welcome back to the Fire and Water Cooking Channel. I'm Darren, and today this is going to be a, one of our Teaching Tuesday episodes, and we're going to talk about seasonings, making our own and buying pre-made. So, I'll be right back. Alright guys, this is going to be a quick ep episode, but I wanted to kind of touch on this because I do get questions a lot about, um, about this uh, kind of thing. And I buy a lot of um, just base uh, seasonings, and I kind of create my own rubs and uh, seasonings, but I also use some store-bought or some brand name uh, mixes. So I kind of wanted to go over that. Um, one of the things I use a lot is my own beef rub, and what, that, what I usually use for that is just a, simply a mixture of kosher salt, coarse ground black pepper and garlic powder or granulated garlic. That is a great base for most of your beef um, roasts, steaks, stuff like that. It's a really good uh, mixture of salt and pepper, of course, are always go good together. And you throw in the garlic for that little bit of savory. Um, sometimes I'll add a little bit of you know chili powder in there if I want something a little bit more spicy. Um, but it's a lot cheaper and you can control the flavors of the seasoning a lot more of the blends when you control it yourself so if you're somebody who likes some uh, more pepper in your beef rub you can add more pepper to it if you like more salt you can use more salt than the pepper if you don't like a lot of garlic you can put a little garlic if you like a lot more garlic you can put more that's what I like about making my own rubs not that it's just cheaper it's I get to control the different uh, amounts of each of the uh, seasonings that I have in there or the you know, spices or what have you so that's that's one of the things I like about it now there are some that I like to use uh, every once in a while I'll just uh, season something up with just some lemon pepper and a little bit of salt and I'll use a blended lemon pepper for that you know this is a running wild lemon pepper which I really like um, their smoky paprika seasoning it's got some things in here that I don't have access to like some smoked uh, uh, spices and, and stuff like that they're um, they're, uh this is their pork candy rub and they've got some things in there like dehydrated apple cider and things like that that it's hard for you to find on your own to make something up like that so so that's why I kind of like a little bit of both I like a look to make my own here sometimes on different things and then also buy some some mixes and some pre-made stuff from different brands but, um, so let's talk about just basically where to get this stuff from I mean easy to get especially if you go to Costco or Sam's Club or some of the bigger box um, GFS or any kind of restaurant supply you can get the big you know jugs of different seasonings so you can make up you know make up big uh, you know uh, jars of your own different seasoning so uh, it's real easy to get started uh, making your own I would try um, if you're gonna if you haven't done it before and you want to try it just do small batches you most of you probably already have a lot of these different seasonings in your cabinet already you probably have some garlic powder onion powder kosher salt paprika all in separate jugs but um, so I would suggest you taking smaller just a small you know amount of them kind of mix it and try it up on like one steak or one roast and then see the difference in the different blends you know let's say you're doing a beef row and you use a teaspoon of each and you find that that's too salty for you or too peppery or not enough garlic you can adjust it on a small smaller scale and then when you find something that you really like you can make a bigger batch like this so you just uh, you know start out small try it out you might want to do a couple different kinds of uh, mixtures and blends like I said you know okay I'll, I just wanna what I'm gonna do to show you how I make my base chicken uh, rub here and as you can see um, just about out of it I use this quite a bit so this is a uh, you know my pre-made little 
empty thing. I, I love these things. That's why I buy a lot of bulk spices because I can use these over and over for my pre-made, my rubs that I make myself. So, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to mix up some more of this so I can have some more. And what I'm going to do, I don't usually um, measure to the exact. I usually will take a, a quarter cup like this and I usually start with my kosher salt and I'll add that. Pretty much I'll add a quarter cup of the kosher salt in the mix here. And like I said, you know, the good thing about making these yourself is you can pretty much adjust to your taste to what you like. So I put a quarter cup of the salt in and usually I'll take some of this coarse ground black pepper. And since this is a poultry rub, I don't want a whole lot of pepper. I'll only use maybe an eighth of a cup, maybe a little bit less. And I'll put that in there. So as you can see, it's not really anywhere close to the amount of salt in there. I'll do the same thing with the onion powder. I don't want a ton, so maybe a little bit less than an eighth. So about that, maybe two tablespoons or so to a quarter cup of the salt. And then I'll take my garlic powder, which I, I do like, you know, a good amount of garlic. So I might do about an eighth of a cup of the garlic. So a little bit more garlic than onion. So if you can see how that looks right there. And paprika, I do add probably just a little bit less than an eighth of a cup. Because I do like the color and the flavor that paprika adds. So about a little less than half a amount of salt that I have in there. And then for my dried herbs, which I just use a, an Italian seasoning, I'll use about the same amount, a little bit less than an eighth of a cup. So about half of this quarter of a cup here. And I'll add that in, and if you can see how that looks. That's how simple it is, guys. And then I'll just go ahead and mix it up with a spoon. And then these are all, you know, dried ingredients. So they mix up pretty well. And I usually will go by sight and just kind of see how it looks from there. I've made this so many times that I know what it should look like. And if you see, it looks a little, it looks a little bit lighter than what I normally do, which means it's not enough paprika in it. So I'll add just a little bit more and to touch it up. So it starts getting looking a little bit more like what's in the bottle there and that's about it I mean it's that easy and then you got a nice poultry rub and from this base you can do just about anything else with it so this rub here you can use on its own for a good poultry rub you can add some lemon pepper to it you could add cayenne pepper chili pepper um, you could add some sage you could add some ground uh, coriander to it um, so you could add some of your pre-made rubs, like, you know, the Run Wild Peach Rub. You could add kind of a fruity flavor to it. So I use this, like I said, as a base, as a good base poultry rub. This works real well. But from here, you can also add other things to it to, you know, vary, vary the flavors. So that's it, guys. I hope you uh, get something out of that. Um, so it's very easy and once you do it once or twice you can kind of eyeball it to where you know what you like. like i said that's the biggest thing is it's you can customize this to your tastes and your family's tastes and make as much of it or as little of it as you want so all right go ahead and try it guys um if you have any questions please make the comments down below i'm going to put some links down in the description below to some places that you can look up to uh, learn how to make some of your own blends and a couple books and stuff but um, try it out watch us on our next video and make sure you follow us on Facebook Instagram and Twitter like this video and subscribe and I'll see you on the next video thanks guys. Let the teacher fill your mind with all the things you need to know